Hi, I'm gonna show you how to do a garter tab today. Why do you wanna do a garter tab? Well, if you're doing a circular shawl, or I mean a semi-circular shawl like this one, you uh, don't have a spine, and so you need a way to get started, but where your stitches automatically start fanning out. So that's what a garter tab lets you do. And before we get started, I want you to see how um, you really can't tell exactly where that is and what looks kind of like a jumbled mess to you and you want it to be perfect really doesn't matter all that much once you get going. All right, so let's get to it. My pattern has me cast on three stitches and so I've already done my knot and since I'm only doing three, I'm gonna do my long tail or my favorite cast on wonder what your favorite one is. That's the one I learned first, so that's my favorite. So I've got my three stitches. So far, so good. Everybody's with me, knows how to do that part. Then my pattern says to knit six rows. So one. So you'll just have to... I'll stop and come back to this. Okay, I'm back and I am knitting my sixth row. I'm on my sixth one now, because I wanna show you what happens when you get to the end of your sixth row, because this is the part that throws everybody, but it couldn't be simpler. So I've now uh, knit my six rows, and my directions say to pick up and knit three stitches along the side. And you're like, okay, what does that mean? So literally, pick your needle up like this, like this, and like a little flag, and pick up and knit one, two, three. One, two, three. So I'm using slightly bigger yarn, worsted yarn, in size eight needles to show you this, because when you do it with fingering, it does look more like a little nub. Two, and three. So in each of those little garter ridges. So now I have the three original stitches and I have three more down the side. And then it tells me to pick up two stitches along the cast on edge. And this is where it does get a little murky. So here I know is my cast on edge because that's where I started. Um, and because that's my tail. And here's my three garter ridges from the other side, one, two, three. So I know it's not there. So somewhere where I just started with that, with my cast on, so somewhere near that, I'm gonna pick up and knit one. So that's gonna be along my cast on edge, that one. And then I'm gonna pick up the next knot after that because it's not, take this out of the way, it's not this one or this one or this one, because those are my three garter ridges on the other side. But really what matters is that somewhere along that edge, you have picked up and knit, it can be a little tight. Oops, and I've got my knitting yarn in the, oh, that's my tail. Don't knit your tail. We like to say that a lot here in the shop. There we go. Pick up and knit that last one. So now I have a total of eight stitches, my original three, my three down the side and the two on there. And what you've done is you've taken um, that little flag, that little list of six, and you've turned it in to um, eight stitches now that go across. You had six rows that are now eight stitches across. And so now you just start your stitch count. You start your stitch count and this will become part of your edge um, of your piece. So then you just start knitting in your pattern. In this case, I'm just going to knit that row. And that's how you do a garter tab. Thanks for watching with Fuzzy Goat. All right, there we go. I probably should have increased, but I'm just making that up. A pattern would have had you increase. 